You offended by that? You offended by that? Are you offended by that? Yeah, I'm just looking at Okay, you can look. You can look. This is, this is your Renaissance, the Renaissance Jesus. The real, the real Jesus is black. My Jesus is my wife, but she's black as well. So okay, well, two well, Oh, okay, good. good. All right. <laughs> um, this is Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men. So all of us are gods. All of us are gods. The Israelites are gods. The word Israel means what? He is a prince of, of a God. Says, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. That's the Arise, O the Most High. Arise, O Most High. Judge earth. Judge the earth. For thou shalt have it all nations. That's how it shall. Inherit all the nations. Wait, wait, the Lord is going to inherit all the nations? So what does that mean for us? We're going to inherit? We're going to be, give me that, Romans. Romans uh, 8 and 16. And then uh, go to uh, a Psalm, the second chapter, and read the whole chapter. Yeah, he hasn't come back yet. No, because he's losing sleep, man. Well... Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai is going to get that inheritance, right? So we're going to get it too. We're joint heirs. If this man is my biological brother, my father give me an inheritance, let's say my father hates him. I'm going to give him some of the inheritance. Look, but you my oh. father, he has some of the inheritance. He said, ask, ask the heart to read Isaiah 45, Isaiah 45 and 5. Go ahead and read it real quick. Isaiah, Isaiah 45, 45 and 5. And five. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 5. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no power besides me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. It says, verse 6. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west, and there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form the light. I create darkness, I make peace, and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Okay, so what's the problem with that? What are you, what are you saying? That the Lord, he, you know what he's saying? That the, the God the Father and God the Son is the same. They're not the same, man. They're not yeah, the same. There is none else. So, so I guess the Apostle Paul, when he put the head of uh, the order, 1 Corinthians 11 chapter, get that, get that, I guess that, the Apostle that, Paul was on some kind of drug when he... Yeah, he was on, <laughs> on, 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 Apostle Paul went off. Yeah. 1 Corinthians 11, uh, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, and the head of woman... Read it like a Christian. Read it like it's written. Okay, okay. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who's Christ? Who's Christ? Who's Christ? Is Christ and, father, and the Father, the Son, is, are the same one per person? Because if that's the case, you got to explain this good to him. Keep reading that. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Ooh. Ooh. So, who is speaking in Isaiah? The Most High. <laughs> the Most High. That's right. Okay. And who, by the way, who raised raised up the Lord out of the grave? Him, he, what? He raised up himself? <laughs> hey, enjoy. When he was on, when he was on the cross. Right. Who said? Eli. Eli. Uh, what's it, Rama Eli, Sabak Rama Sabak, yeah. yeah. What, which, which translated? And by the way, Eli. Eli. What does that mean? What does that mean, Jesus is the word? What does Eli, Eli mean? Because the people down there said he's calling Elijah. Right. 
wasn't calling him Elijah. He was calling he, he, Eli, Eli is Allah, ya, Allah, ya. My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? Oh, he said that. So what if I showed you God the Father calling Jesus God? Big deal. Big deal. We just read. Hold up. We just read in Psalm 82. There are many gods. That there's many gods. Yeah. What are you saying, man? But even well, 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 wait a minute, Yahushua, if your if your brothers can get this, he said, "My Father is greater than I." Yahushua said that, man. What is it, what is this guy talking about? Hold on. What do you mean by? Um, I believe that's uh, Matthew uh, 19. As a matter of fact, give me that. I believe it's Matthew 19 and 11. Don't say sit on the right hand side. Oh, but we can sit on the right hand. We can sit on the right hand. Yeah. Matthew 19 and 11. When he said, uh, uh, oh, good master, call the Lord good. I believe it's one of his Right. I believe that's one of his verses. Keep it coming, Jesus is the word. Keep it coming. <laughs> I mean, like, keep a shot. Yeah, like uh, my man Jim, uh, Jimmy oh, yeah, 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 and uh, Goodfellas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep Just keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. <laughs> oh, he said, he said, he said, stop jumping. Hold on, hold up. He said, verse 17. He said, he said, stop jumping past the, past that. Stop jumping past that. I don't know what he meant meant by that. Matthew 19, verse 17. We already covered it, man. Listen to this. Listen to this. What does this mean? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. This guy said, Jimmy, uh, not Jimmy, um, Jesus is the word. He said, so how are you guys gods? <laughs> Well, what does the word God mean? <laughs> you don't know the meaning of that word. What does the word God mean? The word means judge. Look, look it up. It means judge. Why won't you answer my question? We answered. We just answered your we question. We just answered the question, man. You two, and Isaiah 45 is talking about the Father. When the Lord was on the cross, right. he said, um, my, power, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Oh, um, if you can get the scriptures in Matthew's... Uh, it said, uh, and the, matter of fact, keep speaking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, if Isaiah 45 and 5 said there is no other God beside him, how can you be gods? Scriptures. Oh, no, read, read, read Psalm uh, 82, verse 6. Again. And then, and then, do you know, yeah? The precepts. Yep. The precepts is when the Lord even walked He quoted it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. This is Psalms chapter 82. Verse 6. That's right, says, that's right. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. That's it. it says, but ye shall die like men. Yeah, because we lost our power. As gods, we lost our power. And for, like one of the princes. Ask him to explain that. What does that mean? Explain that, my man. What does it mean? Sir. You can tell me. Hey, did you you what you just read? Psalms 82? Psalms 82 and 6. Now go to where Yahweh himself quoted that scripture. You got it? Bring it out. John 10, verse 34. I said Jesus. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. If he call them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scriptures cannot be broken. Yeah, he said, tell me. Is the G capital or lowercase? Of course it's a lowercase G. I have said ye are gods, which the word God just means power. Hey, Israel, the word Israel means he is a prince of power. That's who we are, we're princes of power. And, and the proof is that we have this knowledge, the understanding of this knowledge, which is power. Hebrews 4 and 12, get that, Hebrews 4 and 12. Hey, the way we go through these scriptures, that's a sign of power, man. That's why, that's why you're attracted to this. Because of the way we go through the scriptures. That's why you're attracted to this. Jesus is the word. Because of the way we, we we go through the scriptures. This is Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful. So, it, so wait a minute brother. If you have the word of the Most High, what do you have? If it's quick and powerful, what do you have? You have power. Which means you're a God. Does not God have power? Or gods have power? Go ahead brother. It says... Back in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Go on. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Ooh. Piercing even to the divine asunder 
of soul and spirit. You know what proves that? That's why he's here. That's why Jesus is, is the word is here. Because we, we're bringing out that word and it's piercing his spirit. <laughs> read, it again. read it again. Read it again, man. This is Hebrews. Come on, Jesus four, is the word. Verse 12. Come on. For the word of the most high is quick and powerful. Quick and powerful. And you got to be quick, Jesus is the word. You too slow, man. You too slow. <laughs> Lentus mentis. Look at that in the in the Latin. Go ahead, bro. For the word of the Lord, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Man, this word goes right through you, man. 